Good morning and welcome to the 2024 Nova Scotia Under-15 AAA Female Hockey Championship Tournament from the Member 2 Sport and Wellness Center and Member 2 Mi'kmaq Nation. I'm Corey LeBlanc along with you, Nolan Jessup behind the camera for our championship game of this three-day tournament and what a weekend it's been. Over Friday and Saturday, 10 round robin matchups that were sensational, a great showcase of women's hockey here in the province. And we're down to our final two. It's a rivalry game to be sure. The Metro West Force Citadels, first place in the regular season. They finished the round robin portion at four and zero against the Metro West Force Warriors who finished at two one and one, fourth in the regular season. And they played last night in round robin action with the Citadels coming away with a two to one victory. So it should be a dandy. As our starting goaltenders for the Citadels getting the nod is Eleanor Feltham. And for the Warriors, Liliana Holland Oliveira. Between the pipes, we're ready to go. The Citadels in their blue and white and red. The Warriors in their white, red and blue. As the crowd's into it already here in number two. Seconds away from the fight for a provincial crown. Opening face off, the Citadels have it. It's Lawton. Tries to get it to Blanchard, and now back in the deep. Zone behind Feltham. Clark is dislodged from the puck. Trying to keep it in at the point. Good work there. That was Warford. Parsons. This Citadel's team, as we mentioned all weekend, a lethal offense, five of the top 10 scorers in the conference. We're Citadel players now. Carly Beaton in, Beaton. Weak shot steered aside by Feltham. She gets her first touch of the opening period. No icing on the play. And back to collector, the Warriors. Bringing it out of her own zone. And stripped as Ross song. That was by Ashlyn Kearney, who had a sensational game last night, including the game winner in the win over the Warriors. Now Warford uses her defense partner. Warford gets it back. Robertson. Nevaeh Robertson bangs it ahead. Actually, that was Sankster to Robin Robertson. And now the Citadels collect, but turn it over, neutralize. Robertson dumps it in. Warriors want a quick change. Trying to take advantage of it here is Lord. Knocked off the puck by McDonald. Back into her own zone, in on the floor. Check is Carney. Spins it around the boards. Brown is there. Brown falls, but her team takes over, and they'll have some room to bring it out here. Mackay can't dump it in. Now McDonald, it's going to be a delayed offside. McDonald doesn't realize she still has to tag up, and now she'll clear the zone chance now for the Citadels. Libis, lead pass to the dynamic. Addison White. Libis, second in the league in scoring this season. Lawton with it. And now Addison White. White with a burst. White, shot, deflected, the rebound, and it's smothered by Holland Oliveira. Her first test of the opening period just underway here on the Member 2 Hockey YouTube channel. It's all for a provincial banner in under 15 AAA female hockey. The Warriors and the Citadels. Knifing in front, it's still loose. Libis, they're digging at it. But Holland Oliveira stood her ground. And now 
the Warriors will make a change. Coaches for the Warriors, head coaches Adrian Beckers and Courtney Rodding. And for the Citadel, Fieldy Montgomery. At the helm, of course, their assistants and full staff out in support of their teams. And we knew it would be a great turnout fan-wise as bit of a delay, so a chance for the Citadels to talk strategy on this face-off. In the tank, it'll be Libis. She's flanked by White and Gould. Libis puts the draw into the corner. Now the Warriors. Kept in by Lawton. Lawton, good work along the near boards. Gould, wrist shot, looking for a deflection but it's knocked down in front of the net. And you can see, keeping a close eye on um, White. Defensively is Sankster. Everywhere she goes, Sankster is going. Now through the middle, Livis. And it's on the offside. White was in a hair early. And we'll have a face off inside the Warriors blue line with 11.43 remaining. to draw into the Warriors zone. No score. Our first 15 minute period. 11.30 remaining. Audain now. Another one of the shining stars. There have been many in this tournament. But certainly a bevy of them on display here in this championship game. And this is the culmination of a busy weekend for the teams. Holland Oliveira steered it aside. The loose puck picked up by the Warriors and dumped out to relieve the pressure. And we'll have an icy call. So it's a good territorial work here by the Citadels. As they look for the first goal of the championship catch. Again, both these teams played twice on Friday, twice yesterday. And again, in an intense matchup, including the one between them last night, the two to one win on the winner by Kearney of the Citadels. Beaten, that ends up in the Citadels bench. So we'll have another face off with 10.50 remaining. And again, just a fabulous matchup to wrap up what has been a marvelous three day weekend here the host, Kay Breton Blizzard, and the folks at the Member 2 Sport and Wellness Center led by Paul Carroll have put on quite a show here. And the teams I know have appreciated all the hospitality. Blackwood, kept in at the point, Leslie. Tried to get it for a deflection, now it's beaten. Battle down low, beaten back to the point. There's Payne. Wrist shot. Sailed wide beyond Felton. There's a chance, a bouncing puck. The rebound, just sail wide. Beaten had an open net, but it hopped over his stick. Now the Warriors buzzing for the first time. Payne puts it down low. Couple of Warriors want to get a change. Out comes Lord. Picked up by Leslie. Avoids Lord. And now the Warriors get a chance to bring it out as the Citadels change. Lawton in her own zone. Being shadowed by Brown. Libis took a whack. And you can hear it up top here, but no call. White. White. And she takes a bump. So getting physical here in this one. Again, these teams have a rivalry. 
under the same program umbrella. Great friends between the teams, but once they get on the ice, the friendships stay in the locker room. As they're very, as the parents told me, very highly competitive when they play each other. Trickles out the neutral ice. Rock spinning. There's Bourgeois. She's been sensational this weekend, and here she comes. She falls, tries to dump it in. And now the Warriors take over. 8.25 remaining in the first. Looking for her first goal, Libis. Back to the point. That shot to flex high. Holland Oliveira hugging her post. Mackay. That was out of the reach of McDonald. But now they're in on the four check. Chance to bring it out. Gibbs, good lead pass off the boards, but Kelly coughed it up. Now in over the blue line. Warriors put it deep, and there goes Buffett racing in. Buffett causes the turnover. Trying to get it in front to Smith. Smith the wraparound, rebound, and a save by Feltham. Warford from the point. Felt them once again. She made the big stop on beaten from close quarters. Now the interception, Nadia Smith. She and Buffett will take a change. Wheeling and dealing now is Gould. Chips it forward. Gould looking in front. Oh, just unable to get her stick on it. A great opportunity there. Again, just beyond the blade of Blanchard. Warriors dump it in less than seven remaining in the first. No score. A provincial title on the line as Ford falls. In over the blue line. Parsons and Holland Oliveira. Gonna be hard to beat either of these goalies with those shots from distance, especially if they're not screened. Two of the best in this matchup. Feltham and Holland Oliveira. McDonald toss from the draw. Scramble, comes free. Wagner, her shot blocked. Kept in but the point by Leslie. Warriors now. King can't get it out. Another chance here. But again, kept in at the point. Wrist shots blocked. Bouncing puck. Coming away with it's Kearney. Kearney doesn't need much room. But it's knocked away from her there. Good defensive play by Warford. McDonald can't get it out. Payne still can't get it out. What fabulous work there by Morgan Clark. Now finally it's Audain. Audain has the puck knocked away before she could get in on goal. Again, what a shift by Morgan Clark on the blue line. She's still out there. And now a chance on the wraparound, but Feltham. And now some pushing and shoving as McDonald went down. She tried to find a rebound. And Feltham's having a little chat with one of the referees about McDonald and others in her crease. 532 remaining in the first. Stop the draw. Another scramble. Beaten. Laid it off. Bouncing puck and finally Gould. White with a burst of speed. White. Wide. Gets it back to the point. Wrist shot. Didn't get through. And now back the other way. Buffett rolled off her stick. But now taken over by Smith, Nadia Smith. 
And there's Brown charging in. Brown in a battle there with Libis. White bangs it out, but the Warriors take over. 444 remaining in the opening period. Robertson and the pace has been feverish here so far. Remember to few whistles and the team's flying up and down the ice. Robertson. She goes down heavily into the boards. Keeping it in at the point. Trying to get it in front was Warford. And White goes down heavily. The, early on, the officials are letting them play. Dumped in by Libis. Teed up by Holland Oliveira. Dumped in by Sankster. It's not gonna have enough for an icy call. And picked up behind the net by Blackwood. Ahead, Parsons. Blanchard heading to the net. Parsons, centering pass! But no one could get a stick on a shot from the point! And it hit Parsons at the side of the net. Centering pass. The Warriors able to bang it out. On the chase is Bakai. Blanchard rolled off her stick, but Kelly picks it up. Parsons, out of her reach. Chance for the Warriors now. And it's gonna go right in on Feltham, so no icing. And now it's Clark, who's off to a great start. Parsons, that was almost intercepted by Smith, and she was would have been off to the races. And we're gonna have our first call of the day, a slashing penalty. So we'll get our first look at special teams. It'll be the Citadels to the power play and to the box for two minutes or less. From the Warriors, Josie Leslie. So looking for one more. Citadel to get out there. Kearney up front with Wagner and White. Here's White. Top of the circles. What a maneuver there. But it rolled off her stick before she could get the wrist shot away. Kearney, sharp angle. Big save by Holland Oliveira. And it's a high stick, not a penalty, but a struck with a high stick and then touched by the Warriors. So the face off to the left, that's the best save so far by Holland Oliveira. Off the left shoulder. And a hard shot from Kearney. Face off to the left. Stalemate on the draw, banged out, but kept in by O'Brien. O'Brien, half wall. Centering pass! White tried to connect with Kearney, and then Kearney took a big hit. As Gibbs mowed into her. Shot from the point. Oh, just missed on the far post. White now back to the point. It's Bourgeois. O'Brien, O'Brien coughed it up. Beaten. Bourgeois. And Bourgeois made it look easy with a speeding beaten coming at her. Kearney, White, midway through the power play. White still out there. Libis joins her. Libis against the falling Warford. Kim, oh, just kept it in, but able to bring it out is Robertson. And we're gonna get an interference call here. Hard one for Kim not to take. As Robertson, the dynamic score was coming charging at her. And she had to impede that progress and it leads to an interference call. So some open ice now for a side here late in the first period. 129 remaining. 
Leslie off the draw around to Lawton. Lawton. Nice break out here, Gould. But Holland Oliveira smothers it as Gould is knocked down. It will be an abbreviated 90-second power play for the Warriors if nothing else happens here. Back to the point. Lock. Gould with Broom, big save by Holland Oliveira. To keep it scoreless. Leslie ready to come into the box. She's gonna head to the bench. And the Warriors are gonna go to the power play here. Less than a minute remaining in the opening period. Levis, shorthanded, trying to make something happen. And a tough call there, a cardinal sin by the Warriors, an icy call with the advantage. Certainly not what they wanted. Face off will come into the Warrior zone to the right of Liliana Holland Oliveira. Buffett trying to get through the neutral zone. There's been plenty of traffic for both teams if they've been trying to get uncoiled here. Shot off a leg. Now some time to collect for O'Brien. And that should do it for the opening period. As in to pick it up is Adain. And the horn goes, and it's been a dandy. We thought it would be. Shots on goal. After 15 minutes of play, the Citadel seven, the Warriors four, no score. As the teams are at their benches again, as it's been all weekend, two periods of 15 minutes, and then a full intermission with a nice cleaning for a 20 minute third. Great start for both teams. Holland Oliveira may be a little more tested than the two goalies, but they both been sharp. She and Eleanor Feltham. As they'll get their back in their positions on the opposite ends. Still 32 seconds remaining in the Warrior power play. As they look to capitalize Two to one last night, and you figure this is gonna be a low scoring affair. So that first goal is gonna be huge in this one. Out to take the draw. Shorthanded, it'll be Kelly and Parsons. Bourgeois and O'Brien on defense. Smith will take the draw, she's out there with Beaton along with Buffett. And the Warrior captain. On defense, here comes Smith. Oh, she put it out the back door. As she get in alone on Feltham. Captain Catherine Wilkie on defense with Ross Sox. The room for Buffett. And a pad saved by Feltham with beaten right in her grill. Back to five aside. Wilkie wants to get wheeling and dealing, but she's knocked off the puck. Great work by Libis. Libis causes the turnover, now White. White swooping in, oh, and she ripped it over the crossbar. As she tried to roof it against Holland Oliveira, it's loose. Shot from the point, Holland Oliveira steered it aside. Another high shot.
Great pressure here after finishing the penalty kill by the Citadels. Sensing that is Wolfie trying to freeze it. Centering pass poked away. Buffett, Buffett it alone. Oh, and a blocker saved by Feltham. To keep it scoreless. Here they come again, the Warriors. And we're gonna get a penalty call there. Believe it's Blackwood. And a burst of speed. Looking to get in there alone was Nevea Robertson. So that's the second penalty of the game that Robertson's speed has collected. So back to the Warrior power play. At the point, wrist shot, saved by Feltham. She was able to see it clearly through traffic. Audane now looking for it, Audane. She's showing plenty of magic this weekend. Dumped out to neutral ice, that's where Leslie will collect. Josie Leslie. No offside, Warford down low. Warford with a lane here at the point. Put it on goal for a deflection. And now Audane. And diving, trying to get that was Brown. Here's Brown again. Brown trying to get it back to the point, but it was too soft. But kept in and Eleanor Feltham said, let's slow things down here for a face off. Midway through the power play. 12.04 remaining in the second period, no score. In the battle for a Nova Scotia under 15 AAA championship banner. Smith tossed. Buffett will come in to take it. Buffett wins it. Shot from the point, again Feltham. She's gotten busy all of a sudden and has been up to the task. Gibbs. Buffett. Centering pass. Oh, a great defensive play there by Lord. That might have been a goal saving play. Lord couldn't get it out. Wilkie. Tremendous work by Lord on the penalty kill. Still in the zone, McDonald. McDonald scampers in. Or Smith turned me in her shot. Deflects into the crowd. 13 seconds remaining in the Blackwood penalty. So a big face off here to the right of Feltham. Face off win again by the Warriors. Fanning on the shop and a second chance for Warford. Centering pass, no one there. Parsons now off to the races. Blanchard heading to the net, back to five aside. Joining them up front will be Kelly, but the Warriors break out. Less than 11 minutes remaining in the second period, no score. Again, the Metro battle for under 15 AAA supremacy. Mackay squeezed off the puck. Nice breakout feed there by Bourgeois. Parsons tried to get it deep, gets it back, Parsons! And she didn't get good wood on it. It was deflected and snagging it was Holland Oliveira. So the first five minutes or so of this period on the heels 
of the power play time. Mostly in the Citadel's end as they look now to crank up the offense as Lippis will get tossed from the draw. White will come to take it. Off the scramble. Squirts back to the point, shot block. And that was more good work by Rossall. Robertson, pardon me, here she is. She's been off to a great start. Wreaking havoc on the Citadel defense. Now it's Libis. She's dangerous, we know that, Libis. Lost the puck and now back the other way. Robertson, one on one with Leslie. Robertson, oh, big time save the rebound. Was pushed through the lip of the crease by Leslie and Robertson. An initial fine save by Feltham to keep it scoreless. Smith. Lawton. Spinning. Right in front of their own net, it's loose. Buffett couldn't get a shot away, it's still loose. And finally Feltham dives on it. Plenty of traffic in front. And we'll have another face off with 8.56 remaining. In the second period of this title matchup. Face-off win for Carney. Citadels now. Here's Carney. Had the game winner in their matchup last night between these two clubs. Lord. Knocked it away from Beaton, but lost her stick. She retrieves it and chance out for the Citadels. The Warriors were making a change. Wagner. Kearney. Right back the other way. That pass too long for Mackay. Mackay out there with McDonald and Audain. Kearney avoids Audain, but now it's Bourgeois. Bourgeois, the captain, hit a leg. Getting it out. Right back in, but dumped out by Wilkie. Now Audain, she's dynamic. Audain rolled off her stick. She'll slam it deep. A little indecision there for the Citadel. See if it costs them. But the Warriors are making a change, so a chance now. Wagner, lead pass, cut off, but able to gobble it up with Blanchard. Put it in deep. Banged off the backboards. Now Warford. Warford gets it back. A fortuitous bounce to Buffett. Or pardon me, that Sankster shot. Oh! And just getting enough of the Warford shot was Feltham. Warford. Nice lead feed to Sankster, but she left it behind. Now Kelly. Bouncing puck. Citadels have to tag up, so that gives the Warriors a chance. There's Robertson, who's been dangerous throughout. Not surprisingly, one of the leaders of her club. And now the Citadels. Parsons trying to get going. Feed to Blanchard. Blanchard, sharp angle, centering pass. No one there. Parsons trying to put it deep. And now Brown, Brown off the glass. With 6.20 remaining in the second. Waiting for our first goal in this championship tilt. And most wouldn't be surprised it's been this close considering the talent on both teams, particularly the goaltending and keeping it scoreless. 
Liliana Holland, Oliveira. For the Warriors, Eleanor Feltham. For the Citadels, White. Drops it off, that shot went wide. 535 remaining. These teams are giving it every ounce. Again, after a busy week and their fifth game, respectively, over three days. O'Brien couldn't get a shot away. Tremendous work here. Trying to get in and get a shot on goal and then falling. Still a great effort by Mackay. And they do get an icy call into the play, so Mackay will get Penny a Platts on the back after that effort, and she does from Buffett and her mates. Face off to the left of Feltham. Robertson will be up to take it. Scramble off the draw. Chance for Ross Song. Puts it down low. Chase down there by Sankster. Trying to keep it in at the point. But good defensive work, but kept in by Adain. Adain still with it. But she couldn't get a shot away, hooked at the last moment. Wagner feathers it in. And Holland Oliveira not gonna take any chances. Shots on goal, 13 for the Warriors, 11 for the Citadels. No score in the battle of the Metro West Force Clubs for a provincial crown here in member two. Kelly. In, rolling off her stick. Great chance there for Sankster. And now she and Brown are in, mucking it up, trying to cause a turnover. And there is one, Schwarford and Feltham. Made a glove stop as Sankster was looking for a deflection or a rebound. 4.05 remaining in the second. Off the draw, Beaton almost walked in front. Kelly, Abby Kelly, backhands it in, but again, Holland Oliveira. She doesn't mess around with those loose pucks. Anywhere around the blue paint, she pounces. And it'll be a face off to her left, 356 remaining. In the take the draw, Parsons against Nadia Smith. Smith with the win, able to put it around to her Rossong. Warford, nice speed beaten, tried to redirect it into the zone, now chases after it. Good work by Beaton. And in for support is Smith. But the Citadels come away with it. Kelly now. Lost it just inside the blue line. Clark. Parsons, soft feed. All oh, great recovery there. Defensively by Rossong to knock it away from White. Here is Mackenzie Rossong. Clark. Rolling off the stick of Beaton, but she'll dump it in. She wants to change. And now here's Bourgeois. Pass up the gut. I believe it's delayed offside maybe. Not sure what the call is there. We will have a face off outside the Citadels. Or we'll be outside the 
Warriors blue line. This is going to say the intentional offside, 250 remaining. The top trio of White, Libis, and Gould out there for the Citadels. Dumped in. Brown after it. Brown. Brown picks the puck up back to the point. Payne. Payne smartly puts it deep rather than try to bang a shot off a of White that could have sent her off to the races. Payne pinching. Get some support there from Robertson. Trying to center it, Brown was parked in front. But it gets deflected to the corner. And now Libis. O'Brien, that tandem rock solid, O'Brien and Bourgeois. White dumps it in, she got spun around. And now Robertson once again. Uses her defender Payne. But good work here, White, Dipsy Noodles, and Holland Oliveira makes the save on a great move by White. Addison White's been doing it all weekend. But stone there by Holland Oliveira. Face off to the left of the Warrior goaltender. Both goaltenders again have lived up to their billing as two of the best in the league. Banged up the boards. Good work to keep it in there by Blackwood. Now it's Gibbs. Gibbs gets it back. Out to neutral ice, 115 remaining. In a feverish second period, just like the first. Few whistles, plenty of action. Great effort here and over the blue line, Wilkie. Final minute of the play in the second period. Wagner. Wagner looking for a trailer. Smartly dumped it in. And now Mackay rolled off her stick, so a chance here for Lawton. Final 40 seconds, a goal for either side here. Wouldn't that be a huge boost? What a momentum swing. Now with 30 seconds remaining. Lots of traffic. Shot, Oliveira, Holland Oliveira. Just got a piece of it. Final 20 seconds. Both teams now probably content as Beaton dumps it in the head to the locker room here in a scoreless tie. And that looks like that's the way it'll turn out. Not enough time for Kelly here as the horn goes to end the second period. Shots on goal after 30 minutes of play. The Metro West Force Warriors 13. The Metro West Force Citadels 12. It's all we thought it would be here in Member 2. We're scoreless after 30 minutes of play. Don't step away. We'll be back with the third period of the Nova Scotia under 50 AAA female hockey championship banner game and you're watching it all on the member two hockey youtube channel
Welcome back to the 2024 championship game of the Nova Scotia Under-15 AAA Female Hockey League. The banner's on the line as we get ready to start the third period. We're scoreless. It's been a back and forth battle between the rival Metro West Force Warriors in the white and the Metro West Force Citadels in blue. Again, sister organizations in the HRM. Friendly rivals, maybe the best way to describe it, but I know one singing on the ice. The friendships stay in the locker room. Should be a dandy third period, and we're underway in member two. Both goaltenders have been sharp. Each side has had their scoring chances, but Goof saves on the scoreboard at this point. McDonald back for it. Oh, put it in front of her own net. Did Holland Oliveira had to be sharp. That high back hater, she got a glove on it. Up the boards. Ah, Dane. That would have been a big break, and it's called on the offside, Kelly. As her team didn't tag up well, that would have been a big break for the Citadels. But we're still scoreless, just underway here in the third period. From the member two sport wellness center, member two Vima Nation in Unimaki. Beaten. Buffett! Oh, and a shoulder save by Feltham to keep it scoreless. Beaten now. Back to the point. She just made that fabulous pass to Buffett. Smith in front, banging away. And away with it is Lord. Lord with a burst of speed. Rolled off her stick. And then she's rubbed out. Defensive work of Rossong. Back to the point. Do redirect it right through the lip of the crease. By Lord, who's having a great shift. Kearney now. She showed magic last night with the game winner in their round robin matchup. That the Citadels won two to one. Buffett. Wrist shot block, tried to get her rebound. And now back the other way. Pace quickening here early in the third. Brown. A great defensive play and almost get in alone. Brown. And now Robertson, Nevaeh Robertson swooping in. Wrist shot, bouncing puck. Brown will be able to collect it, puts it deep. But that's where the Citadels will take over. White. Put it around the boards. So chances for both sides early in the third, certainly the best was the big save on Buffett by Feltham. 17-23 remaining. Libis, Lawton at the point, blocked. Oh, and trying to get off to the races was Robertson. But Lawton stood her ground, trying to wrap around was Libis. Great team defense there by the Warriors. Lawton at the point. Trying to put it deep, picking it up behind her net in a battle. It's Wilkie against Libis, and now coming charging in and giving Gould a bump was Holly Gibbs. Libis, top of the circles, she scores! Not sure if it deflected off once who is providing the screen. And the crowd, the Citadel faithful, and I think it will be White. It struck her in front on the shot by Libis. No chance for Holland Oliveira. So the Citadels 
Draw first blood at 326. I think it's going to be Addison White. Libis took the initial shot. And we'll see what the official call is. As the Citadels get that all important first goal here early in the third. Libis in a battle there against Audain. Warriors now looking for an answer. Some pushing and shoving along the near boards and now it's Ghoul. Less than 16 minutes remaining. Certainly no need to panic if you're the Warriors. Keep doing what you're doing. It's actually Libis. So flip that scoring play, it is Libis from White. But White certainly integral, not only with the assist, but the screen, the traffic in front. No chance for Holland Oliveira. And we thought it'd be, have to be that type of goal to beat these tenders today. Oh, big defensive play there by Warford. Now Parsons shrugging it away is Holland Oliveira. Up the boards. Good play by O'Brien to keep it in against Buffett. Now Buffett lofts it out. He's gonna have the legs for an icing. 14.47 remaining in the third. Again, our goal for the Citadels, Lydia Libis from Addison White at 326. Libis, who was second in the league in the regular season in points. Combined with White, who finished third, they had 47 and 45 points respectively. So quite a dynamic duel as Holland Oliveira smothers it. So not to point out the obvious, but at this point, if we get one, the next goal will be huge. Certainly a two to nothing lead for, two goal lead for either side would loom large. And of course, the Warriors score, we're right back to even Steven. Brown now looking in front. Centers it, backhander, and Feltham made the save on Sankster. Sankster didn't get the best wood on it, but still Feltham, who gets a pat on the back from her mates. She has 15 saves on the morning now into the afternoon, 13 for Holland Oliveira, and a lot of them were of the quality variety. Brown now in trying to dislodge it from Leslie. Banged out. Or pardon me from Clark on that last play, not Leslie, mixing up the teams a bit. Leslie, there she is from the Warriors. And Brown was in a hair early. And we'll have another face off outside the Citadel zone. They lead one to nothing. Again, our lone goal coming earlier here in the third period. Lydia Libis at 326 from Addison White. Lawton fanned on it. McDonald tried to race in. Now Audain. Back and banged out. Audain trying to get freed up. Nice lead pass, here's White. White looking for another. And now she gets dumped and we're gonna have a power play. As the dangerous White draws the call against Olivia Warford for hauling her down. So a huge opportunity here for the Citadels and for the Warriors, their biggest penalty kill of the season. 
In the take, the draw will be Blanchard. She wins it. Kearney back to the point, O'Brien and Bourgeois. Bourgeois put it in the corner. Shot! And the deflect wide, that was off the stick of Parsons. Bourgeois! Whistle one just wide. Kearney back to the point, Rister, and Holland Oliveira makes the save off Bourgeois. 132 remaining in the power play, 1252 in the third. Citadel's one, Warriors no score. The tripping call against Warford. Dumped out. And Buffett in the cause of trouble. Buffett, Bourgeois got it back. Put it in a harm's way and now the Citadels. Kearney, she better be careful with her and a blocker save by Holland Oliveira. Again, these two goaltenders, if they see it, they're stopping it. Kearney again. 50 seconds remaining the power play and Parsons didn't realize the night though. They may bring that back outside the Citadel's blue line. No, nope, they're gonna stay right here. 50 seconds remaining in the Warford penalty at 12.09 in the third. Libis has opened the scoring here in this period, and that's the difference right now. Blackwood had some trouble, and now Beaton looking to take advantage, but support from Wagner, and now Kelly, Abby Kelly. And that floats in at Holland Oliveira. Both goaltenders exceptional with the rebound control. Once they get the puck, you don't see many get jarred loose. The top line out for the Citadels now with 30 seconds up to the power play. Libis flanked by Kelly and Gould. That was Kim at the point. Oh, and it's just beyond the reach of Kim. Tough pass from Libis. Libis. Not happy with herself on that play. And now they have to reload. Final seconds of the power play. White. White. In the challenge. White. Oh, she knifed it on goal. What a set of hands on Addison White. But she didn't get much on it as she shoveled it forward. And Holland Oliveira able to keep it out. Back to five aside. 11 19 remaining in regulation. Robertson gets jettisoned from the faceoff. Sankster in the take it. Good work by Libis to strip Warford. Russell. Trying to poke it by, here's Robertson. Robertson, oh, and she tried to roof it, but Feltham got a piece of it. Robertson, shot from a sharp angle, and right there to smother it is Feltham. Robertson's done everything but score so far. Unable to beat Feltham with 10.49 now remaining in the third. Shots on goal, 18 for the Citadel, 17 for the Warriors. Barging through and out of the zone, good work there by Abby Kelly. Kelly lofts it in. 
Warriors down their own end, picked up there is Wilkie. Gibbs trying to find, racing in, Buffett showing her speed. Let's see what can come of it here. Warriors trying to get it deep. That was Leslie. Oh, bouncing puck. Oh, a big save there by Felton. The rebound, it's loose. And it's smothered on a, I think that may, by Bourgeois. A trip to the box, we'll see. Everyone was in the pile. But still unable to squeeze it by Feltham. Doesn't look like any calls from the scrum. Remains one to nothing for the Citadels. 9.51 remains, still plenty of time, but hard for the Warrior faithful not to start peeking at the clock as they look to tie it. Shot from the point, steered aside by Feltham and up into the netting. Again, both these goaltenders, not only rebound control, but just the ability to steer the puck as Feltham did there out of Herm's way. Off the draw, feathered out by the Citadels. Now the Warriors look to get back to the offense. Great work there by Kearney. Buffett. Buffett. And now McDonald in to try to cause the turnover. Kearney now. Kearney gets it back. Now Kim. Kim spinning from her adversary. Less than nine minutes remaining in the third. Kim. Kim still with it. Dumps it in. Bouncing puck and Holland Oliveira. She'll leave it loose because the Citadels were changing. Now out to neutralize. And that's where Lippis will take over. Lippis is our goal scorer. Lays it off for Addison White. And now Lippis again. What a dynamic duo. All great defensive play there by Rossong to knock the puck away from Libis. Now Lawton puts it down low. Libis. Spinning. Down low, Gould. Rossong. Lawton fanned on the feed, looking for the lead pass for Libis. The captain, Wilkie. Great forecheck here by Libis, White and Gould. Penning in the Warriors. Lawton keeps it in at the point. Lawton, Rister, steered aside, rebound. And it hit a body in front, and then when White gets up, it comes loose. And Holland Oliveira. Off the initial shot by Lawton. Libis had a rebound chance, but her, her teammates were piled up in front of the net like cordwood. And the shot hit them, and then Holland Oliveira able to pounce on it with 7.22 remaining. Off the faceoff, Gibbs puts it around the board. Buffett, ahead, Smith couldn't corral it. Warriors looking for the equalizer, Wilkie, across their defense partner. And that's Gibbs, Holly Gibbs, making chase now is Buffett. 
kept in by Leslie. Oh, and I'm able to get a stick on it was Beaton. She was alone in front. Beaton. Tried to jar it loose, and now it ends up with Bourgeois. Bourgeois had that overtime thriller set in it. And Holland Oliveira. A similar rush on Friday in their overtime win. Over the Quad County Whitecaps, Bourgeois put on a dazzling display to score the game winner. She was looking for an insurance marker there. Now with 6.30 remaining in regulation. It's safe to say the clock watching has begun for the Warriors and their faithful. As they look to tie it here, Audain. Kearney came away with it. Kearney in a pile up. Kim and Holland Oliveira snags that. It was heading wide, but she wanted to make sure there wasn't a scramble around her crease. Kearney Robertson on the draw. Out come the Warriors, Leslie. Nevaeh Robertson, Leslie headed to the net, Robertson. Oh, and that shot went high and wide. As she made a wonderful pass, finding Sankster. Saved by Falcom. And again, Robertson, great vision to find Sankster. And she went for the attic, but put it over the roof. And it stays one to nothing with 547 remaining. Leslie. Warriors trying to get the equalizer. Weaving through traffic as Lawton gets it out. And putting it right back in will be Warford. Warford. Pokes it in, she'll chase in after it against Libis. Libis though calmly gets it to her line mate White. Addison White. She and Libis combined on the goal earlier in the third period to make it one to nothing. Now a beaten causes a turnover. Centers it! Oh, what a save! The rebound! And Feltham it still loops! That's her best of the night. Three sensational stops for Eleanor Feltham. And she gets deserved pats on the back there. The right pad. Keeping the Warriors off the board here. 4.55 remaining. Off the draw. Bourgeois now. Nice speed. Levis off to the races with Gould. Trying to snake their way through, but the Warriors respond to Buffett. Buffett with some speed. But now Bourgeois rock steady. Again finds White. Uneasy breakout. White dumps it in. That should be enough for an icing call. It is. So a big face-off coming up, 424 remaining. Shots on goal, 20. For the Citadels, 21. For the Warriors. Face-off to the left of Eleanor Feltham. Who has been magnificent, both she and Liliana Holland Oliveira. Point shot steered aside by Feltham. Now Bourgeois deflected into the Warriors zone. It was off a of Warrior, so no icing. Bourgeois pinches in. Gibbs around, finds Wilkie. Up ice. And now Audain. Gonna be a call behind the play, we'll see. 
Abby Kelly pretty incensed. Sheen Gibbs tangle. And they're both going to go to the box. Chance for the teams as the Warriors coach each side wants an explanation why it, I would think that it's offsetting. It was behind the play there, it didn't pick up. What had happened, but it seems like the Warrior bench isn't satisfied. And he also, this delay gives both teams a chance to catch their breath and for us to catch our breath. What a game. Often championship matchups don't live up to the hype. But this one might go into the instant classic category. The Nova Scotia under 15 AAA championship game. Citadels. Warriors, sister organizations from the Metro West Force umbrella. So it stays five aside. Crowd cranking it up here in member two. And they change the decision on the face off. It's inside the Citadel blue line. Leslie dumps it in. Warriors looking. They're gonna have to start rolling the dice a little bit, I would think, to get the equalizer here. Gibbs and Kelly both get two minutes. Leslie. As it knocked off her stick. Wow, fabulous work by Lord. What a defensive gem she's been for the Citadels. Now Kim. Kim in her own zone being chased by Ardain. Less than three minutes remaining. Robertson, the rebound! Oh, and unable to stop it home and then ending up in the net. Warford trying to find Robertson and then Feltham. One of the Warriors ended up flying into the net and I didn't see what happened there, but again, Eleanor Feltham. Along with the Libus goal, of course, she has been the star here in the third period in preserving this lead. Back to the point. Nobody could get a stick on it. And now bringing it out is Gould. Libus, 2.15 remaining. Buffett, now beaten. Smith in front. This line buzzing around and they keep it in at the point. Warriors are gonna have to start the pinch. And of course that leaves you prone, especially against an attack like the Citadels. Back to collect now and bringing it out. Rossong, lead pass, Buffett. Buffett banged it in, but having to tag up is beaten. Robertson's back out. We'll probably see a lot of her down the stretch. We'll keep an eye on the Warrior bench as far as extra attacker. But they're having trouble getting into their own zone now. Great work there by Blanchard. Here comes Beaton, and they're waving in Holland Oliveira. Extra attacker, final minute of play in regulation. 
are the Citadels, less than a minute away from a provincial crown. The Warriors have something to say about it. Trying to get it out feverishly. Kept in at the point. 35 seconds remaining. Leslie. Audane put it deep, but there's Kearney. Kearney bustled off the puck. Feverish action here in member two. Now Bourgeois kept it at the line by Leslie. She got spun around. That shot, bouncing puck, five seconds left. It's up on the back of the net. Still loose. The Citadels are provincial champions as they storm Eleanor Falcom. What a performance by both teams. The thrill of victory, the agony of defeat. The Metro West for Citadels are the Nova Scotia under 15 AAA provincial champions. What a performance you see her take off her mask. We get a good look at Eleanor Feltham. So many stars in this one, but Feltham, especially after her team as she gets a big hug from her coaches. What a performance. One of those games you hate to see a team come out on the short end. And these teams again, players have played together, friends, happy rivals as they shake hands here. The Citadels go undefeated in the tournament. Two one goal victories over the Warriors. And what a performance by both goaltenders. The only goal by Libis. And there was no chance on it for Holland Oliveira. It was through a screen. And we'll hang around, of course, for the player of the game presentations, the banner presentation. There's the game winning goal scorer, championship winning goal scorer, Lydia Libis. And what a showcase and what a way to culminate it here in member two of female hockey in Nova Scotia. And again, our final presentations is the gloves and sticks are strewing around the rink after the celebration by the Citadels as they stormed, they stormed the Citadel in Eleanor Feltham. The game winning goaltender and again, equally as sharp. Liliana Holland Oliveira, one goal. And it came from the tandem of Addison White and Lydia Libis who were Libis second in the league in the regular season in points. White was third, two points apart. As again, we're just getting some final touches on award winners and such. And of course, we'll have our Hockey Nova Scotia banner presentation. Warford, Olivia Warford had a great game on defense for the Warriors. Well deserved. So many people you could award with the player of the game. Eleanor Feltham, there she is. In all the shining stars today, she was the brightest in helping her team win a provincial championship as they storm Eleanor Feltham. You wouldn't see a better goaltending performance. We'll 
have the medal presentations. And again, what a weekend to showcase female hockey in the province at the U15 AAA level. Medal presentations, Emily McNevin. There's Marley Payne, Alexis Brown now. She had a great tournament. Kate McDonald, number five. And again, a great season for the Warriors. Great tournament. There's Carly Beaton. But of course, there's Certainly some sadness and such a hard fought loss. And a big hand there for Holly Gibbs. Gabrielle Buffett. Wow, the speed she showed and skill this weekend. Nadia Smith. Alexander Sankster. And again, these players know each other so well, of course, growing up and playing in the HRM. A lot played together on teams. And now with this, there's Nevaeh Robertson. What a performance. She did everything but score. Felt them. Held her back. But another great performance. And there's Olivia Warford. And now getting her medal, Mackenzie Rossong. Josie Leslie. Charlotte Adang. What a performer she was. And there's Catherine Wilkie, the captain. Liliana Holland Oliveira. What a weekend she had. And the whole Warrior team. Let's hear it for the Metro West Force Warriors, our civil, silver, pardon me, medal winners. And now the coaching staff for the Warriors finished the tournament with today's loss at two, two and one. And they get a big hand. So much time put in by the coaches, but I know they wouldn't change a thing when you're coaching young players like this. And now the gold medal winning Metro Force Citadels. Representing Hockey Nova Scotia, Paul Carroll. And there, Eleanor Feltham, a well-deserved hand again. What a game for her. Two, Jessica, Jessica Parsons, number two. Number three, Claire, Bourgeois. Claire Bourgeois, what a tournament for the captain. A dramatic game winner in overtime on Friday against the White Caps, Lydia Livis with the gold medal winning goal. Isabel Kim. Riley O'Brien, the defense partner for Claire Bourgeois. Addison White who set up the game winner. Bridget Blackwood. Another defender. Number nine, Ashlyn Kearney. Ashlyn Kearney. The speed and skills she showed all weekend. Just so many superlatives for so many of these players. For no doubt, we're going to hear their names more as they continue 
Third progression. Up the ladder and Hockey Nova Scotia circles. There's Alina Gould. Abby Kelly, one of the heart and soul players for the Citadel. Wagner. Caitlin Wagner. Morgan Clark. What a defensive performance today by Ariel Lord. And there's Olivia Arsenal, who had a strong weekend between the pipes as well. And now the Citadel's coaching staff, led by head coach, the former Dow standout fielding Montgomery. As the Warriors head to the locker room again, congratulations to them on a wonderful season. What a weekend it's been, 10 round robin games over two days. And then today's championship as the players storm their coaches and the plenty to celebrate for the Metro West Four Citadels. And now we're gonna have the banner presentation. This puts the icing on the cake. There are the captains. Claire Bourgeois, the captain, her assistants. Blanchard, White, and Lawton with Paul Carroll. And again, the Metro West for Citadels raise it high. They're the provincial champions in the Nova Scotia under 15 AAA Female Hockey League. As they continue to celebrate We'll wrap things up here for member two. What a championship game it was. The final score, the gold medal winner by Lydia Libis. The final, the Metro West Four Citadels won. The Metro West Forced Warriors, no score. Your Citadels, the 2024 Nova Scotia under 15 AAA female hockey champions. So again, thanks for joining us for a great weekend. What a showcase of female hockey. Want to thank everyone involved with the organized committee and more importantly, all the coaches and players who entertained us here all weekend in member two. For Nolan Jessam, behind the camera, I'm Corey LeBlanc. Good afternoon from the member two Meatball Nation.